People always told me um, when I would talk to them about finding someone to marry, they would say things like, well, when you know, you know. Um, and I thought that was a load. Um, and I thought it was the dumbest thing I'd ever heard. And um, turns out it's not so dumb after all. <laughs> um, you know, now I'm gonna be that, that idiot saying to, to single people, when you know, you know, um, because it's true. And I never thought I'd be able to so clearly see it when God gave me a wife. Um, but I've been seeing it clearer and clearer every day and look forward to becoming more and more clear um, for many, many years. Some people say that they look for the man of their dreams and I found the man of my prayers. Forever, I've been praying with my mom for the man that I would marry, that he'd be strong, that he would be a man of God, that he would be a leader, that he would be courageous <laughs> and kill spiders for me. I waited for you for what it seems like forever, but I would wait a million lifetimes just for you because God created you with me in mind and I thank him every day for that and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I promise to be strong and courageous to protect you and our family, to joyfully take my role as head today. Um, I promise to, to love you as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, um, to cherish you. Um, to love you as my own body because today we become one and finally I promise that I'm going to forsake all others and keep myself only for you as long as we both live. I vow to love you fiercely. I vow to laugh with you, play with you, chase you around the apartment although I am the slow one. <laughs> I vow to hold your hand on long car rides or short car rides. I vow to sing along with you in the kitchen and dance with you to old songs while we're making food. I promise to watch Bill's games with you and pretend like I know what's going on. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> overall, I just promise to do life with you. I love you so much. Love you By the authority committed to me and as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I pronounce them to be husband and wife, no longer two, but one, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
This is where it starts.